2020 and we are getting ready to ship our German order. Well, we're not quite ready to ship it. We've been, um, the German order is kind of a big deal around here. Uh, we have a customer um, in Germany and he sells online as well as distributes to a number of uh, stores that carry minimalist running footwear. And uh, we've been working with um, our customer's name for about three years and every year he's increased the order pretty significantly and so the first year it was like 400 pairs just to try and you know see how it go and then the next year it was which was last year it was like 900 pairs and this year we're starting off with 900 pairs and then probably do another order that big or, or bigger in a couple months in any case um it's pretty crazy. Uh, it's just a lot of work and especially, you know, we're just, it's a small shop and uh, it's a lot for us. So um, let me show you some of the stuff we're working on and, and how we're making this order happen. So I would say there's basically three phases to this project. The first one, well, maybe there's a lot of phases, but main phases. I have to get all the soling material together and then we have to punch it into sandals. But before we punch it into sandals, we have to bond all the material. So we either have grip top or we have leather um, or the mountain goats. We got to put the various layers together. We got to do all that bonding and then we punch it out. Um, so we've been getting help lately from Brody I'm sure you'll see him at some point in this video, but Brody, let me show you what Brody's done recently. So here's one little stack of all the sandals he punched. This is mostly the leather warriors from the order. Um, you know, there's like 30, these are pairs. So there's like 30 pairs, 23 pairs, 21 pairs, whatever. Just a whole bunch of pairs of the sandals. Um, over here, there's another section of the workshop. He's got a little uh, a little secret nook of sandals. Let's go find that. So he's got a bunch more mountain goats over here. And then a bunch more down here, right? In that little that little zone. And then one more spot that he's been hiding them or he hasn't been hiding them. We just set up this uh, little table out here for assembly. Um, so a whole, like a field of sandals out here. Think about it, if you have 900 pairs of sandals, well that's actually, you've punched out 1800 individual soles. And then, so each sole is stamped uh, and it, our dies have a, uh, a punch here and a punch at the ankles. So that's that's a gimme, that happens for you. But then we have to countersink each sandal for the toe plug and then for the ankle plugs, we have to uh, countersink those as well. These ones aren't finished yet, that's a ton of countersinking. So that's a ton of steps. Um, I don't even know how to do the math on that. So that's 1800 and then another six, you know, times six. I can take out my calculator. Let's see how many steps that would be. Oh, let's go. 1800. So like 10,800 processes to get through all the sandals for this order. And that's just the sole. Uh, and then the leather sandals, of course, we haven't branded them yet, but we have to brand uh, the front. And so that's gonna be, you know, even more processes on, on those sandals. And so that's one big chunk is getting the soles all together. And, and we're just about there. Um, just have a little bit of countersinking to do, uh, you know, however many hours of that. And then the other one that's a huge piece is the sewing. So this is another little piece of what we're doing here. Um, this is a bin of, these are insole posts. We got lefts and rights. And this is for size eight and nine. And I forget, I think it was like 200 and, was it 200? It was like 240 pieces, 240 pairs, something like that. It could have been twice that, I'm not, no. It was probably 400 pairs of 
insole and outsole posts or uh, insole posts and so that means we had to we have a handmade plug and then that gets attached to a scrim and then the scrim is covered with ultra suede and then we sew the strap on there and this re just re represents days and days of work um tk who uh did the lion's share of the sewing for this order you know he started he and i started it and mostly he did it um like the week after once we got through our black friday order so in early december we've just been sewing all the time and uh so it's february now that's like it's a couple months of sewing and we're almost done we're, we're about to wrap it up so we get the soles done we get all the parts done and then again um there's there's six com main components you know a toe plug strap an insole strap and a um, outsole strap on each sandal so 1800s it's like over 10,000 parts basically that we had to make by hand uh, it's a lot of parts um, in any case so those two phases are done and then the next thing that we're going to have and it'll sort of come to life here in the next couple days is this table right here that I'm standing in front of with all the soles on it. We're just gonna build like a big assembly line and get a bunch of people uh, lacing the sandals together. And once we've done that, we can box them all, put them in the boxes and get them out of here. And I have to tell you, that is the best feeling in the world when I drive to the FedEx station and I drop them off they scan the packages and I get my receipt and I walk away. I just sleep, feel better, I sleep better, everything's better once they're out of here. So, and then, you know, in a couple months, we'll do it all again and it'll probably be bigger um, the next time. Uh, so anyways, that's the little intro to um, the German order, which is just a big deal around here. So right now we are in the boxing stage of the German order, which is actually like a huge relief to me personally. Um, just means that you know we have everything we need. All we have to do is finish, you know, putting in the boxes, and that actually goes a lot quicker than uh, anything else. How long have you been folding boxes for? Long time. Long time. Are you ready for this order to be done? Properly. For the most part, it went really well. We only had a couple.
couple of pairs that uh, were punched, like the sole itself that weren't quite up to snuff. And you know, you're gonna run into a few little things and always, and so there was a couple little quality control ones we had to throw out, that wasn't a big deal. And then one box of the size nines was actually punched as a box of size eights. So we had to go through that and repunch, you know, about 30 pairs, which in the grand scheme of things isn't that big of a deal. So all in all, it went really, really smooth. And um, we had a lot of people step up and help, um, a lot of newcomers to Shama. And so I'm really grateful to all of them. They um, just made it happen. And it was cool because I think my vision for this lacing system has always been that um, when we went away from our fourth generation one to our elite lacing system was that it would be easier because we have all the parts. All we'd really have to do is just assemble. So, uh, but it's hard to get that many parts together at once to make it really, and, and people to make it really flow. And it was flowing. We had like people on every little aspect of assembling the sandal. So that was really cool. And, um, and then, so you, when you take, the other nice thing about that is when you take a mundane task that you gotta do over and over again, it could be pretty dreary by yourself, pretty, um, pretty awful. But when you have six people around, you know, if you're all nice to each other, you can have a good time and it could be enjoyable. And so I think that was like the big key you know, this time was um, just a lot of people that uh, just having a good time working together, you know, and enjoying the work. So, so almost done. Um, we're getting there, and and I'm very excited. So, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel for more weekly content. And make sure to click the bell so that you'll be notified every time we post something new.